Hi, I'm Margaret Mastrangelo, and I'm running for a second term for the Board of Health. I am a certified family nurse practitioner, and I currently work in hospice. Prior to that, I worked in internal medicine full-time and ran the quality assurance program for our five busy practices. During my time with the Board of Health team, we have accomplished many things, three of which I'd like to outline for you. The first was the hiring of our full-time health director with the support of our town manager and select board. This was the most significant change for us within the last three years. We have been able to achieve certain goals as a result. Ben Lipman, our director, makes sure that we are in compliance with the Massachusetts Department of Public Health regulations. He is certified to conduct food inspections, septic inspection, inspections, and soil evaluations. In addition to that, Ben serves on various town committees to address issues related to hoarding and abandoned property. The Board of Health has sought to improve outreach, and Ben has done this by offering training and informational sessions to our local businesses, which have been well received. One of our goals was to initiate an internship program with the university, which Ben now oversees. This will help us with projects without adding time or expense to our budget. Over the next year, the board has budgeted for Ben to receive additional credentialing that will minimize, if not eliminate, the need to pay for outsourcing. Overall, Ben has been a tremendous asset to our community. The second important accomplishment has been the computerizing of our permitting process. Businesses seeking permits from us can now apply online. It's easy for them and it helps us keep track of and correspond directly with them. This efficiency benefits both the town and business owners and facilitates revenue gathering. Aside from our permitting processes, all operating procedures that fall under our jurisdiction are available online as they are updated and reevaluated. This ensures transparency and consistency with all regulations, policies, and applications. Instrumental in helping us computerize our department has been Peter Laurie, our administrative assistant. He brings to the Board of Health years of business consulting and management experience to ensure that our office runs efficiently and smoothly. Finally, there are three other notable mentions that occurred in these last few years. The first is a free book exchange shed, which now operates at the transfer station. It is dedicated to Greg Mish, who served our community, our community tirelessly for 30 years. The shed is staffed by our own chair, Dr. Susan Mosler, and volunteers Jean and Earl Shumway, to whom we are extremely grateful. We have a new town nurse, Marcy Fleming, who brings years of experience and is available to perform multiple services to residents from her office in the Senior Center. And finally, I'd like to mention the ongoing engagement we have with Hampshire Public Health Shared Services. This is a state-funded project which allows us to access additional resources such as inspection support, public health nursing, training sessions, and supplies. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude and good fortune to work with an extremely talented and professional team who serve with me, Dr. Susan Mosler and E. Dragon. They truly care for the health and well-being of our community. Dr. Mosler has chaired the board for the last several years. Her leadership guided this community through the very difficult years of the pandemic and she continues to provide invaluable knowledge, inspiration, and direction. Dragon, our policy wonk, is a registered nurse and has a graduate degree in emergency management, and she brings a wealth of knowledge about policy, procedures, and community health. It would be a privilege to continue to work with all of the dedicated individuals I mentioned. I hope that with your vote, you will allow me to serve you for another three years. Thank you.